As we traveled down the line, we decided to check the Kildane Ironworks just to look for survivors. Sadly, no one was there. The only thing which remained was the hollowed out corpse of another engine, whose shape was all too familiar. There was only one great western panic tank on the island, and we knew we had lost a noise and a gaping hole in his forehead. Just the sight of him made me want to vomit. Several pieces had been ripped off of him, he was missing a side road, and a few sections of handrails. To add to that, it seemed as if the whole engine was completely hollow. Boiler tubes, water tanks, and bunker, all empty. Even the ashes at the bottom of his firebox were gone. We decided to leave. 